Three of the most important provisions you need to focus on in a software license agreement are the software license grant, the description of the software, and the warranties and remedies provided by the software vendor. With respect to the scope of the license grant, uh, you know the software vendor's goal really is to have a very narrow software license grant for, for the purposes of extracting fees from you over the life cycle of your relationship with that vendor. Your goal as the user, as the licensee, really is to have a broad and expansive use right to that software so that you've got maximum flexibility to use that software in your business in a flexible way over time as your business might change. The description of the software is critical and something that I think is often overlooked. You know, having a broad and general description of what you're licensing really um, is setting yourself up for trouble. I think you really want to have a high level of specificity defining you know, the type of software, the type of modules that you have the ability to access, and the type of functionality that that software is going to provide to you. If you don't have that level of specificity, I think you know, the likelihood that you're going to um, be accused of, of breach by the vendor is high, the likelihood that you're going to have an audit issue and that you're going to have to pay additional fees. I think it's all, all of those become a, a, a risk that you can mitigate during the contract negotiation process. Finally, you know, the warranties and the remedies are critically important. You have to have a solid understanding of what that software is warranted to do. Um, you know, a warranty, in a software agreement at least, is a warranty of time and it's a warranty of reference. You know, is the software going to substantially conform to the documentation? Is it going to conform to the mutually agreed upon specifications? Is it going to work in accordance with the representations that were made to you by the sales team? All of these things need to be included in the agreement. Similarly, you know, if the software doesn't do what it is supposed to do, the vendor needs to make it right. There has to be an obligation to remedy whatever that breach is. So I think if you focus on at least these three things during the contract negotiation process, you're setting yourself up for success and you're going to come out of that negotiation with an agreement that really does meet your needs.